Hey guys, it's Sarah from Sweet Glamour Makeup. It's been a very, very long time. I don't even know when the last time I made a video was. I think it was maybe nine or ten months ago. It's been so long. Um, I've just been really busy working and staying busy with that. Um, but today I wanted to make a video about the... Orlando makeup show that was, I think it was two two weekends ago or last weekend. Um, it was so much fun. It was my first makeup show ever. Um, I've always wanted to go to IMAX but never had the opportunity because I live in Florida and just to fly out to LA and all that. And So um, when I had the opportunity to go to this show, I was so excited. Um, so a few highlights from that were, of course, you get to shop all the brands. It's an industry event for pros. So you get discounts for uh, Makeup Forever, Inglot, basically all the big brands and vendors are there. Um, and you can get everything quite a bit uh, cheaper. But I think they were also said that you didn't necessarily have to be a pro to go to the show. I'm um, not sure if that's true, but, you know, if someone doesn't have their license or isn't a makeup artist, it still would be cool to go there and shop. So, um, I'm going to actually put a few pictures on here, but um, something really awesome, I got to meet Encore Makeup, Corin, of course, and um, Elisa from Purse Buzz. I actually... Um, met her towards the end of the show. They had hosted like um, a little event where they were talking about like how to be successful on YouTube and blogging as well. Um, and also I met Courtney from Fira. I think that's how you say it. Fira, sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Um, but I've actually met her before a long time ago and I was surprised that she remembered me so I'm going to post pictures of all that in the video and also you can check it all out on my website a little more in depth about the makeup show. Um, so I'm going to show you some of the goodies that I got. Um, very exciting. Um, I was actually given a list from one of my good friends so I did a lot of shopping for her and then for myself. Um, so one of my favorite places was, of course, Inglot and Makeup Forever. Those were like my favorite, favorite places to shop. But I kind of went all over and got a few things from other brands as well. Okay, so I guess I'll show you from Inglot. I got some things, and I think the prices there were like 40% off, something like that. So this is the YSM Cream Foundation. This one actually reminds me, the texture of it reminds me of um, Studio Sculpt, which is kind of thick. It kind of gives like um, a dewy finish, so it's better for drier skins. And then I got the YSM Pressed Powder. This is more like a sheer setting powder. Um, unfortunately, I wore the powder and it broke me out. I love the finish of it, but um, it just broke me out really bad. But it really gave like that really like flawless, like smooth finish. But too bad I can't wear it, which is my problem because I have very sensitive skin. I got a really pretty blush. This one. Um, it's number 11, and it has, like, sparkles in it. You can kind of see. This reminds me a little bit of um, NARS Angelica blush. Very pretty. And I guess my favorite thing um, from Inglot is the gel liner, which was awesome. It was, like, 9 bucks, and this is the black. It comes in a pretty 
big jar. And it's very creamy. It doesn't dry out. It doesn't flake. It just stays on amazingly. I love it so much. Because normally I use um, boot black for my liquid liner, but I really do like the um, Inglot gel liner as well. I'm just going to move over here. Um, another brand that I really love that um, I was excited to see there was Naked Cosmetics. I love their stacks. I don't know if you guys have heard, I'm sure you've heard of X Sparkage talking about the ivory stack. Um, this one here is gorgeous. I haven't even opened it to use it yet. This was called Broadway. And it has six colors. They're just very like vibrant pigments and a little goes a long way. But the ivory stack is amazing. It has duochrome highlighters that you can use with pretty much every color. Um, and by the way, too, they do offer a pro discount. Um, if you're not, um, if you're just like a cosmetologist, you can get, I think it's like 30% off to 50% off of Naked. You just go on Naked Cosmetics and apply for it. So pretty awesome. Um, la I actually got this. Um, I did go to the premiere hair show, so I got the concealer wheel last year, and this one is a corrector wheel for color correcting, um, to neutralize any redness in the skin, sallowness, it's a silicone base, um, it brightens, counteracts darkness, and, um, helps with hyperpigmentation. So this is awesome. Haven't used it yet either, as you can see, but it was like 20 bucks for this. So that was cool. Um, something I got too is this Emberlease cream that I guess everyone talks about. Um, I have not tried it yet, but it's supposed to be like an all-in-one cream for all skin types, like a primer and a moisturizer in one. So that was a really good deal too. Um, what else? And um, I actually went to Senna Cosmetics, which this is probably the favorite thing that I got so far, is the foundation palette. And this is cream to powder, so it's really good for like HD um, photography. And this is in light to medium, so you get 10 different colors which is great um, for bridal, for freelance gigs. Um, that way you can mix and match colors if you have to as well. Which leads me to the next thing is uh, Makeup Forever Mixing Palette. This is a large size. I already have the small one, so I just got a larger one, which you can put more like lip colors and foundation and everything on. And I got this. Glamour Grip. It's the HD Beauty Sponge. I guess it's similar to the Beauty Blender, but it's by Graftobian. So it's really good for like stippling on the foundation, cream, liquid, and all of that. And then this is awesome. This is uh, the Stila Liquid Glitter Eyeliner. It's waterproof and it really is very vibrant. Like this is amazing. Every time I wear it, I get compliments. You can see the sparkle in that. It's very, very intense. And they have um, brighter colors as well, more intense colors. So what else did I get? Oh, um, and then when I went to when um, Meet Purse Buzz, I actually bought a few of her things. I got this cute pen and I just put it on a necklace but she has so many cute accessories and I got this um, actually little bow ring there there was like so much I wanted but you know everything adds up and I had already done some damage for the day so but it was so much fun and if you can go I would highly recommend to attend uh, the makeup show or IMAX but this year I was really impressed um, it had a great turnout in Orlando, and it was just a lot of fun. Um, and it was, like, right after uh, Hurricane Sandy, 
So there were a few vendors that couldn't actually make it, like OCC um, wasn't there, but a lot of the brands were offering like free shipping if they were sold out of something. So that was really cool. Um, and they had different seminars that you could attend, but those um, sold out like right away. So anyways, I just wanted to show you guys what I got and give you a little update. I'm going to um, try to keep making more videos as long as I don't stay too, too busy. But I really missed you guys, and I will be back soon with more videos. And please subscribe. Bye.